Well, gearing up for this week, day after Christmas, where we're getting ready for, of course, looking towards New Year's. And as we have several storms to be talking about, it is going to be a wet week. Not so much today. We have some clouds in place, but we're free from any precipitation. Where today's expected high, 43 degrees, you can see on average we should be in the upper 30s. As we're starting to break free from the inversion, it was a hazy day yesterday. Still some haze around today, but we really mix out the air because of these approaching storms. The first one getting here tomorrow, and it's late morning into the afternoon, where as you can see, it lingers on through Wednesday. Maybe a little bit of a low Thursday, but then the second wave hitting Friday through Saturday. Saturday with the potential of seeing some showers on Sunday. So this is going to just be a week where we're going to be piling up the snow up in the mountains. And for the valleys, it's going to be a mixture of some rain and snow because we're bringing these storms in from the west. So we don't have that cold, cold air. So the valleys, I don't know if you'll be doing a lot of shoveling, but you will see a lot of precipitation here. Now, as we look across the state, we're seeing a push of some clouds ahead of this next storm system. So this high pressure will quickly be broken down as we see the storm coming through. And we've been talking about this atmospheric river. We look at the upper level as we see that water moisture and that is going to be flowing in like a river and keeping things going and active here over the next several days. So let's take a look at our computer models, at least giving you the timing of the first storm. Again today, we have some clouds in place here across the state. You're not seeing anything from future radar as we go through the afternoon. We might wake up tomorrow with some brief sunshine quickly filling in, though, as we get into the mid-morning hours where by 9 a.m. you're starting to see some showers, especially over the mountains. It fills in, and then it really gets going here moving into the afternoon where you're seeing these yellows that means more moderate rainfall, and we're focusing on northern central Utah. Southern Utah, a little bit later on today in the overnight hours, you're seeing the showers. Now, snow levels will be dropping, but again, we're keeping it from away from the valleys as we move through most of Tuesday into Wednesday. Now, near the benches, we can see a mixture of rain and snow. Then we get some colder air moving into Wednesday late. That'll drop snow down to the valleys for a brief period of time. So you're going to see snow levels come down to the valleys, then retreat, come back down into the valleys. But snow up in the mountains, it'll be a wet, heavy Heavy snow, but good for water content, good for our snowpack. Today, again, those temperatures above average. We're in the 40s here throughout most of the Wasatch Front. Looking through central Utah, we're in the upper 40s, even 60s in St. George. Now, looking in southern Utah, you've got 60 today, partly cloudy skies. Late Tuesday into Wednesday, we start to see that rain. Rain lingering on Wednesday, Thursday, keeping it wet throughout the weekend. This is going to impact traveling, of course, for the holidays, but for many of you going down to California for the road. Rose Bowl. You'll have to keep your eye on the sky. Keep uh, up to date with the latest uh, weather information. So just be cautious. You've got to give yourself extra time. Now for northern Utah, hit the rain tomorrow. Then kind of a mixture of rain and snow Wednesday. Some snow showers briefly on Thursday. Then it looks like we'll kind of be looking at a mixture of rain and snow Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as temperatures drop down into the 30s. So we'll have start off kind of warm. Then we'll see more snow and snow accumulating here as we go, at least for the weekend, for the